Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. There you can see I'm at the Linksys uh, setup screen. So, the very first thing that I'm going to do is go to the wireless section and change the wireless network name to the exact same uh, SSID as my original router is which is Stargate Command thankfully I don't have to type it all in and you want to change your wireless channel to the same wireless channel that your um, original router uh, is set at SSID broadcast can be set to enable or disable based on whatever your original router is set at and click save settings and it's probably going to reboot nope it didn't reboot good okay now we're going to go back to the setup tab and we are going to go to let's see you can leave the router name as is or you can change it I'm going to actually change it to say SGC2 leave the rest set as is now your local IP address you want to change this to something that you know is not in the DHCP pool of your original router if you go to your original router and go look at the status page somewhere it should tell you the DHCP pool the starting address and the maximum number of DHCP users you can see right here uh, right here right underneath where the DHCP server is uh, you want to set this to something outside of that pool so I know that on my original router uh, the pool starts at 192.168.1.100 and it goes to 200 so I'm going to change this to be 192.168.1.10 so that way this router will have a local IP address of 192.168.1.10 that way I can differentiate it from uh, the original router that has a .1.1 address but yet it's still not interfering with anything in the DHCP pool so there we go and you can go ahead and change your time zone if you want and click save settings Now, what you're, what, what, you're, what you're waiting on basically is the router to reboot. Again, it's asking me for username and password. Username is root. Password is admin. So now here I am back at my router configuration screen. Now there should be nothing else here that you need to change. Uh, again going into wireless and going into wireless security uh, something important before you finish this configuration is that you set whatever security measures are set on your original router you need to set them here too exactly the same way. So if you have WPA or WPA2 uh, set up on your original router then you need to set them up here with the same exact uh, passphrase, the same exact key, whatever. Same goes for web, same goes for radius, whatever. Uh, for me, I leave mine set at disabled because we're in a rural setting and I want to share my internet with my neighbors. You know, I don't mind. So I leave mine set at disabled. But just something I wanted to make you guys aware of. So now what we're going to do and I can't really well I can show you this on camera here we go we're back out to the real world view now here's an ethernet cable that I have plugged into one of the switched ports one of the four LAN ports on my original router over here 
what I'm going to do, that was not a fart by the way, that was my chair. Um, what I'm going to do is take this cable and plug it in to one of the four switched ports on my uh, second router, on my repeater. Doesn't matter which one you use. And the only reason there's one plugged in here is this is the one that's running to my computer. It, it once since this is set up now, uh, you don't even need this plugged in to a computer. You all you have to do is have this running to your original router, 100 feet away, 200 feet away, wherever you do your cable run. Once you've got it all set up, you have no lo don't longer have a need for a computer. Now I'm going to leave this connected just so that I can show you guys that this actually works. Here I am at my Gmail. Here I am at YouTube. And this is all coming through this router, which is now acting as a wireless repeater. Um, I don't have a wireless device to show you guys that this works with. Uh, but trust me, it does work. So, there is your way to run a wired uh, internet repeater. If I wanted to keep this wired, what I would do is drop a line underneath, well my house is raised here, or pier and beam, so I would drop a line through the wall underneath the house, go 100 feet over to the far wall of the house, run it up the wall and put in a jack, and then uh, plug it in, run, a, run a li another ethernet plug from the jack to one of these four switched ports. Do not plug anything into the WAN port to this separate Ethernet port. You do not need to use this on the wireless repeater. If you try and plug this in, it will not work. Leave that port empty when you're using this as a repeater.